Hi, so today I'll be introducing how could we create this line effects and also to combine it with different medias to create different visual effects. So let's start from scratch. So first we'll be using a slope and we'll find grid. Let's change the sizes of the grid a little bit. Let's change this to 4.2 and 3. And also increasing, increasing the rows, decreasing the columns. And also changing mesh to polygon. Next we'll be adding a geo. And then adding a wireframe. Drag it to the geo. The render top, also a camera. We'll be using the transform top to create some movements, adding the ABS time dot seconds and multiply it by a really small number to slow down the animation and also changing this to repeat. Let's go back to the wireframe and change the line width to about 4.2. Next, we'll be bringing in our external source. And for this one, I'll be using a external video. I'll bring in a movie fell in top and I'll be using this blooming flower video Eat. be using a threshold top and changing the comparator to greater and change this number to 0 0.071 next we'll be using a feedback loop that's Bring in the feedback top a level and a comp. And for the level, let's change the opacity to about 0.98 and bring the comp into feedback and also adding a blur next to the comp the next step we'll be using a displace top and connecting both to the displaced top for the displace we could reduce the displace weight to 0 and 0 0.1 using a composite top
struck the initial movie fell in chop to the comp and set up this operation to inset luminous. I used another feedback loop to exaggerate the effect. Connect this to an alt top. And also using the RGB key to get a background for this. And I also add a bloom. We can see that it's already working, but like one last thing that we need to change is to change the first composition to over so that you got like the shapes, the shapes of the flower. Yeah, so here is the outcome.